So, I think this begs the question, where are the opportunities in India? Where are they? I think it's fair to say that the opportunities are everywhere. They are, for example, in infrastructure. India has a very poor infrastructure, as you will soon find out yourself. The roads are in poor shape. There are not uh, enough roads. Uh, there is a lot of traffic congestion everywhere. India needs roads, it needs ports, it needs airports, it needs seaports. There's a big urbanization going on, so housing, infrastructure for the urbanization. So infrastructure, a lot of opportunities. Transportation, logistics, supply chain, which of course goes hand in hand with the infrastructure. Huge opportunities there. Let me give you one example. In China, freight travels about 100 kilometers an hour. What's your guess? How many kilometers an hour does it travel in India? Any guesses? 40. Quite close. Quite close. The latest number I have is 35 kilometers an hour. So it's only a fraction of that of China. And the consequences are very dire. It's not a matter of, oh well, the stuff arrives a little bit later in India than it does in China. The consequences are stark. There are reports that 17% of all food items being transported in India are lost. And they're not lost because they can't be found or they're being pilfered. They're lost because they spoil. With cold chain, it's even more dramatic. Studies show that up to 40% of food items that need to be transported or stored, refrigerated, are lost. Personally, I think that number is too high because what we here in the West readily throw away, Indians do not throw away as readily, and even if they do throw it away, there may be somebody who still uses it, who cuts away the spoiled part, whatever. But even if it's, let's say, 30%, that is a gigantic number. Can you imagine 17% and 30 or 40 percent of food items being transported in a country the size of India. I mean, I, I can't even imagine how much food that would really be. And it spoils. And the tragedy is, the tragedy is absolutely, may I feel your question afterwards? The tragedy is that in, in India there's still hunger. There are millions of people going to sleep hungry and waking up in the morning hungry. So this has to stop. This definitely has to stop. Um, power. Very big opportunities there. I think in 2012 there was a general blackout in India. There are these rolling brownouts in India. When you go there you will notice those. Even in the nation's capital, the hotels all have power generations, generators. So there are big opportunities there. Education. I earlier mentioned the importance of education in India. And again, it's a bit of a paradox. Uh, India is home to the finest, the finest educational institutions in the world. I think of the Indian Institute of Technology or Management. The best and the brightest graduate from these universities. But, in general, I would have to say, the Indian education system is poor, particularly in the rural areas, where the kids do not get the education that they need where teachers, more often than not, don't even show up for class. So, huge opportunities there also in this sector. Healthcare, biotechnology, life science. Healthcare, let's take uh, hospitals. You have the government's hospitals on one side. You have the top uh, end, you have like Apollo, the Apollo Group hospitals, which is similar to what we have here in Switzerland. There is virtually nothing in between. Huge opportunities there especially for Swiss SMEs. <coughs> clean tech, <coughs> excuse me, clean tech, renewable energy also. Uh, I think of water, for example. Um, clean, clean water, uh, wastewater management, uh, big opportunities. That's also something where the Swiss SMEs are very strong. Other opportunities are luxury goods. Indians have an insatiable appetite for Swiss watches and jewelry, and also gold. 
You may know the festival of Diwali, uh, the most important festival in India. It's a bit like uh, Christmas and New Year uh, rolled into one. And um, in the run-up of Diwali, you actually see the gold price, the world gold price go up. That's how much uh, gold Indians buy in the running-up to, uh, to Diwali. So,